Hey guys, Ian with cnsave.com. It's Wednesday night, starting up another vlog. And as I was in the shower, I remembered, oh, it's Wednesday. I need to put up a Disney vlog over on my uh, CN at WDW channel. So uh, yeah, that channel's linked below if you wanna go over there and check out the latest vlog from my October trip. I've been uploading vlogs there on Wednesdays and Sundays. So cut that up just in time. And still watching Breaking Bad. In my last vlog, I thought I only had two episodes left, but it, I thought there were only 13 episodes. I guess there's 16. So I guess I'm down to the episode before last of the series. Getting through that. And oh, this vlog from Disney World's making me hungry at the Werther's Caramel Store. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> Still sick, yes. Getting ready to take some Mucinex and go to bed. Tomorrow, I need to go to Sam's Club, hopefully. So yeah, huh. been in here working, uh, editing eBay listings, and just doing general computer work. It's nice to be in here because it gives me something to do, keep my mind off of uh, being sick, but almost time for me to go to bed. Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> Sam's Club, ooh, organizational product. Now that would be nice at the estate sale. My plastic one, the handles are so hard. Would you like a free sample? Would you like a free sample? Summer stuff is out. I'm not filming too much today in here just because we're here quick because I don't feel well. But I'll show you a little bit. Oh, that's nice set. Oh, it's so nice. Everything's nice. Love those rugs. Oh, cute. Pretty nice, isn't it? Be great for kids' room, crafts, eBay. Every year I want to get my dad one of these, and then when I come back to get him one, they're sold out. Every year. Every stinking year. A lot of, I didn't film back where the clothes were because a lot of people are there, but um, a lot of the clothes are on clearance. So remember when you're at Sam's, look for the one at the end of the price, and that indicates a clearance sale. Of course, now, well, yeah, see, they're over there pawing through everything. We're home from Sam's Club. We got milk, bananas, got some more uh, Puffs Plus. Got this honey bunches of oats just to try some new cereal. And of course, in the cereal keeper that we got from Sam's Club. I needed more lotion and the Lubriderm um, was on uh, instant savings. So I think it was like two something off um, for three packs. It was only $10 and change, which for Lubriderm is awesome. Got some more Mucinex, which is also um, a great deal at Sam's. It's so expensive, but it was also an instant savings, as were the Q-tips. And instant savings are just discounts. They automatically take at their register. Uh, so whenever there's something that I normally get that's on instant savings, I tend to bulk up. Um, so, I'm sorry, I just don't have the receipt. I can't tell exactly, but I saved $11 total on these four items. So that was nice. And I got a cinnamon sugar pretzel and two... <laughs> Uh, Coke ices and then look what they were giving away at the door free bags of dog food She's like would you like a free sample of dog food? It's like sure <laughs> they handed us this giant bag of it So that'll be good for Lucy you can have those for her treats Right Lou you can have that for treats Look at it's free dog food. It's treats such a good girl. Yeah Ooh. What the, Oh my oh dear I am so over being sick. I'm sick of being sick. So many things I want to do and I can't get them done because I'm so tired. 
and my nose is constantly running. I went to Sam's Club this morning. They about killed me. Took everything out of me. Uh, I did, however, stay up pretty late last night, working on eBay, adjusting prices, putting things up at auction. Just trying to move some old stock, so I put a bunch of stuff up at auction starting at $9.99, no free shipping, and some larger lots of things starting at $24.99, again, not with free shipping, not for auctions. But I did go in and add free shipping to a lot of clothing that was already kind of at my good price, so, so maybe free shipping will entice some of the slow-moving clothes to finally get out of here. I hope so because this is the second day in a row of no eBay sales, so it got really quiet really fast. Boo. It's dinner time. I'm not really hungry, but I have to eat something. So I'm gonna have some cottage cheese. <laughs> oh boy, if that's not exciting, I don't know what is. Lucy wants some, don't ya? You can't have cottage cheese. No, little Lulu, little Lucy can't have cottage cheese. <laughs> Lucy. Can you look at the camera? That's a good girl. Oh, look at your tooth sticking out. You got a tooth. A tooth sticking out right there. <laughs> it is now Thursday night and I finally have had an eBay sale. I don't know what is going on. So slow. Um, but this is a vintage set of pulling wires. Some sort of crafting thing. Um, I got it at a $5 fill -a bag sale, so it was in with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and it just sold for $24.99, and the buyer paid shipping on top of that. And as I just set it down here, I'm thinking maybe to just ship it in this box. Um, this was some a box from eBay that uh, the poly mailers came in that I got uh, with my store coupon code. So, you know, I'll have to run that past the shipping manager, i.e. Papa, but that'd be a good fit because I don't want them to bend and break. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of auctions going. I actually did have one auction end and it had, a f I think three watchers, but only got one bid, but it did sell, but I'm waiting for the buyer to pay. And it's this shirt. Um, I couldn't figure out what to start as. I couldn't find one like it. And it also had like this um, color bleed from the collar, the red bled onto the white so I just decided well I'll just start it at $9.99 and see what happens I paid a dollar for it at Goodwill uh, so it sold for $9.99 so yay glad that um, at least it sold although like I said still waiting for the buyer to pay but then a lot of other stuff um, I put on auction things like these Disney mugs I started them all the rest of them at $9.99 you guys remember I got these in a lot this past summer, I paid 57 for a big box of mugs and one clock. And the first three mugs I sold, sold for 25 and the uh, clock sold for 25 So I made my money back super quick. And then they've been trickling out for $24.99, $19.99, um, Eighteen seventy four, just kind of trickling. So I thought maybe if I tried an auction, I'd get some of them. And then just some other miscellaneous stuff. Like I put my lot of dolls up for auction. I put these uh, plush up for auction. Some lots, just to try to get some things moving. Uh, like I said, stale inventory that's been sitting around a while. Some, um, oh yeah, this lot. Oh, sorry, it's dark. I can't see. <laughs> that lot, there's um, vintage hymnals in it. I put that up for auction as well so yeah hopefully people will start bidding starting to get watchers I normally don't do auctions my rule with auctions is <laughs> I only do them if something like this that I just cannot figure out a price for and I'll try it um, or like that Transformers lot I sold at auction I knew that it was worth something but I didn't know what the final price should put it so like this shirt, I started at $9.99. That's what it ended for. The Transformers lot, I did $99.99. And of course, it went up to $333. The rule with auctions for me is start it at the price I'll be happy with. Because if you start it at $0.99 cents or $1.99 or $2.99, most items these days get one bid. So it's rare that things get bid up anymore. So start it at the price you're happy with. I paid a buck for this. 
It's sold for $9.99. The buyer is going to pay shipping on top of that, and I'm fine with that. Transformer set, if it would have sold for $100, I would have been thrilled. It sold, I paid $10 for it. It sat around for ages. So that one got bid up. So don't start your auctions for less than you're going to be happy with. And I remember I learned that from Heather over at the Paper Castle because as eBay changes, you know, back in the day, you put everything up for auction um, and everything got bid up. But these days, everything's about buy it now and auctions are not as popular. So if you're going to start an auction and you've done the work to source it and list it, everything that's gone into it, at least start it out at at least $9.99, um, not $0.99, cents, which, of course, used to be the popular way to start everything. When I started on eBay, everything, I started everything at $0.99. Cents. It's got kind of a hard habit to break if you've been on eBay a long time. But now my rule is um, start things at least $9.99. Um, so, yeah. A lot of them I put up $9.99, and then, like I said, something's a bit higher, but we shall see how that turns out. I'm still feeling really bad, and I'm frustrated because I would really like to go out tomorrow and do some sourcing, um, and I just don't know if I can. That is what is so frustrating about this time of year. This is when the great deals are out there at the thrift stores and retail stores, and you can just get so much great stuff because everything's on clearance, but it's the middle of cold and flu season. <laughs> And with me, I always get sick. But anyway, what can you do? There will always be another sale. There will always be another <sighs> garage sale, estate sale, clearance sale. So anyway, okay, off to get this packaged up to go. Wild Thursday night. I just took another dose of Mucinex. I'm catching up on Days of Our Lives. And I'm coloring. <laughs> Lucy, are you eating popcorn? Do you get popcorn every day? What you reading there, Dad? Flip or flop, divorce? Yeah. You want to tell everyone how you're sick now? <laughs> you're not going to talk? Papa's got the sniffles. Okay, guys, it's now Friday morning. Still sick. Papa's now sniffing and congested. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, that shirt that I showed you yesterday that was on auction, that person paid, so it actually went out this morning. Um, that was $9.99 plus shipping. And then this uh, set of vintage plastic holiday cups just sold. I've had these for a while. I've had them at all kinds of prices. They haven't moved. I finally got them down to $8.88, and that's what they sold for. And I think I would have paid $0.50 cents or a quarter for them, and the buyer did pay shipping on top of that. So huh, when it's slow, you'll take any sale, right? <laughs> it's like, yay, $8.88. I'll take it, even if that's all I make today. I'll take it. FedEx just came. My bookcases are here. I ordered on Amazon for my... Uh, Merchant Fulfilled Amazon books and CDs and they are happy. Oh, I can barely get them in the door. Of course, the guy just put them like by the house. He's like, bye. Okay, thanks. Oh, well, that'll be a project for Papa to put together. I will link these below. Um, it was a set of two. Five shelf in white. Yeah, what do you think, Lulu? Lulu's going to be thrilled with that, aren't you? <laughs> well, I needed a spot for my books and stuff. If I'm not going to do FBA, I need, you know, dedicated storage for the uh, books and CDs. So, bite the bullet. Investment in the business. I thought you said you needed to sit down. What I are you doing to, down I here? I other things I have to do first, and that's the laundry, and that's the most important Oh, the laundry is the most important. Yeah, I get on my and Then own. your health. <laughs> you think these will be easy to put together? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're just the particle board stuff. Yeah, I think I'll put them here if they'll fit. We'll see. Yeah. Not a hurry. We do not need to do this today. <sighs> Underwater, that's a good way to describe how I feel, not being able to breathe. So many things I wanted to do today, not accomplishing any of it. Don't feel like going anywhere. 
I'm not feeling worse, but I'm definitely not feeling better. <sighs> and now Papa's got a cold too. Fortunately, overall, he's really healthy and has a strong immune system, whereas I don't. I have like no immune system. So that's why it's really easy for me to get sick and it takes me a lot longer to get over things. Um, and it's a genetic disorder. It's not anything that can be cured. Because I know people will be like, take this vitamin, get this shot, do this oil. It, it doesn't matter. It's just a genetic condition, a disease. There's nothing I can do except be really careful. And if it does turn into an infection, then I go to specialist and get, um, I go see a, a blood disease specialist and they'll give me like Nubigen shots to try to boost my immune system and antibiotics. But since I haven't really had much of a fever, um, there's no reason for me to go to that, uh, to see the doctor. So just gotta wait it out. <laughs> Will the congestion ever end? I'm starting to think it won't. I'm just going to have a cold forever. But at least I can rest. Just taking it easy. This is freaky. Woohoo. Bye. Hey, Miss Lucy. Miss Lucy. Miss Lucy, can you look at the camera? Okay, don't look at the camera. Don't look at the camera, Lou. Huh? Lucy? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> gonna ignore me what are you doing Lulu Lucy want a treat oh there you go so I'm in my office I'm probably gonna take a nap here now <laughs> just so tired I heard from a lot of you guys that you're sick too so it's cold flu season things are going around um but I thought I would do a Q&A for where am I looking over here <laughs> another professional set up my phone because I film on my iPhone People ask what camera I use. It's an iPhone 6S. Um, and it's propped up in my pen or my pencil case, which is a Garfield mug on top of a Kleenex box. And you can hear Papa coughing, maybe, <coughs> and Lucy barking. <laughs> We're a mess over here. Oh, I just hate it when I can't get what I want to do done. But what can you do? You're sick. You're sick. It's just how it is. Um, and yes, I'm in a short sleeve shirt, even though it's freezing cold out because I'm hot and then cold and hot and cold. So it's like hot, then I get the blanket. Hot, get the blanket. <sighs> anyway, let me do some uh, Q&A here. Uh, someone wants to know, do they need to use suffocation stickers on poly bags if you sell them for clothing? No. No. That's, use the suffocation stickers or the suffocation bags for the stuff you put in for FBA, but if you're just folding a piece of clothing and putting it in a bag, there's a difference between a poly bag and a clear bag that you seal and are wrapping things up in, if that makes sense. So it's, they're, they're, they're different bags. Um, somebody said, remember good hand washing stops the spread of germs. <sighs> I am the hand washing queen. I'm a, I'm have a little bit of a problem actually in that, um, I do wash my hands a lot, probably too much. So it's not hand washing, it's just cold and flu season and I don't have much of an immune system. And you try what you can, but sometimes you just can't make it work. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Some that people have said eat soup. I hate soup. I hate soup. It is hot water with chunks in it. Blech. No, I don't eat soup. <laughs> More people talking about being sick. Yes, I. it is going around. Uh, questions about the silverware. Do you use silver cream? Yes, it's, my dad polishes it with the silver cream and then it gets washed in hot water and soap. And that's how it comes out looking clean. And the link to the silver cream, as well as the sites I use to research flatware, both those are linked below. Oh, somebody let me know about the um, new iPhone 7 that the wireless... Oh, they send you an adapter and headphones. That's good. Because that was what was holding me up. Is I'm like, God, do I have to buy like separate headphones? Um, I had a lot of comments about the ink on those labels of the Goodwill clothing. Hairspray, alcohol, um, hand sanitizer. We tried everything. Nothing worked. Some people, they were saying, you know, it takes it off of glass. Well, that's different. That's a hard surface. This is fabric. And the ink is soaked completely through the labels. It came out of one piece. I put spray and wash and it came out of that one. But the other labels, it 
just didn't it is stuck in there which sucks because that means I'm gonna probably have to price it for what's you know on the label which ugh. um ooh, the cold and the stomach flu that's horrible there's nothing worse than the stomach flu what happened to the other pug yeah I did have two pugs Max passed away over the summer this was most interesting they didn't know that Oneida was pronounced Oneida they were pronouncing it as one Ida no, it's Oneida. Yeah, Oneida. <laughs> um, let's see. <coughs> um, oh, this uh, person let me know to take a picture of the flatware and photo Google it. I've never tried that before, but I definitely need to do that. Um, let's see. Any more eBay questions? Yeah, the rubbing alcohol didn't work on that because... They tried it on a door, but again, this is fabric, and it was completely soaked in, so, ugh. Goodwill, I don't know why they do that, because they also staple a piece of paper with the price onto the item, so not only does it have the ink in it, then there's staples in the clothing. Uh, how do you scan books? It's the Amazon seller app. It's a free app. I will link it below. And let's see. Someone said every time they have to run an errand and get stuck in Los Angeles 5 p.m. traffic, they remember those horrible 9 to 5 days. I hear you. I wouldn't tr trade working from home for that again. Could you make your own products to sell on eBay or Amazon for um, better margins? Well, there are people who sell their crafts and whatnot on Etsy, um, people who manufacture their own products. Uh, crafting is not something I'm into, and manufacturing your own items uh, is a lot of money, big investment. It's not something, again, I want to get into. I did years ago. Um, you know, I was in a gift business, so I bought wholesale, but even then the margins were small, and there uh, a lot of competitions, including from the wholesalers themselves. Oh, I was talking about Margaret, um, Texas Gal Treasures, saying, you know, she struggles with feeling lonely and isolated, and someone else said that they're an introvert too, and they don't miss people either. <laughs> I don't. Um, let's see, is that it? Oh, someone, oh, this is another thing. Let me know that there's a hold button on the scale that you can push because I will try to look under the scale when I'm weighing things to see the weight because the one downstairs, the thing doesn't pull off. I didn't know there was a hold button. Duh, should have known that. Um, da, da, da. anything else? Any, I can't, I didn't answer them in the last questions. Sorry, I'm like shrugging. Yeah, people, when I talked about telling all your secrets and retail arbitrage and whatnot, and people are talking about the Facebook groups and all that, I am not in, I, well, no, I'm in some Facebook groups, but I just don't spend time there. Um, and I know people, you know, put things on Instagram and stuff. And I also know there are people who watch those things and don't participate at all and just take notes and then go and, you know, kind of use the secrets for themselves so again when you are sharing everything especially when it comes to retail arbitrage you are not helping anyone yourself or anyone else because when you give those things away everyone goes out and they buy so they buy those items and no one makes money so you're not helping anyone the best thing to do to help someone is keep it to yourself and let them figure it out on their own um yeah oh a comment about etsy Confirming what I said about there's a lot of work that goes into marketing with Etsy, which is why I don't do it. Um, yeah, other people who don't line up when estate sales start because the early birds are pushy and unpleasant, and I agree. And again, you get in there, and it's too easy to get overwhelmed with all the obvious antiques and collectibles that are front and center, and to overpay, and to get upset. And no, I stay to the end um, and get the deals. Uh, sometimes when I wash clothes through eBay, the clothes still have a bit of the thrift store smell. Do you have this problem? Uh, not after I've washed it. That's kind of weird. Um, two things you can do is you can hang clothing outside in the sun, or you can freeze it, put it in your freezer. Those two things can remove smells. But, wow, if you've washed it and it still smells like a thrift store, there might be something under that. I don't know. Um... 
The only issue I have with estate sale companies is they charge so much. Yes, some are very pricey. I know other people, definitely other areas, can price really high. In my area, there's really only one lady who prices high, and that's because she sells on eBay. So after the estate sale, she'll sell on consignment for the people. Uh, so she definitely marks up. But um, again, go the last day, go the last hour. Go when they're desperate to move stuff. And if you're willing to buy in bulk, you might be able to negotiate better prices. Um, someone said, don't put so much salt in your food because that'll make you sick. I don't like salt, so no salt in my food unless it's like in a baked supply or something. And I think... That might be about it. One more section coming. I try to respond online when I see them, <clears throat> but sometimes I miss them. And I feel like I'm getting so hot again. Oh, someone asked, why do I say what I paid for items when I'm talking about what they sold for? And that is because I want to give you guys as much information as possible because there's a big difference between your gross sales and your net profit. And I'm going for the biggest net profit. Buy things as cheap as possible, sell them for as much as possible, and get the most money. Um, there's a big difference between buying an item for a dollar and selling it for $20 and the buyer paying shipping versus if I buy something for $5, sell it for $20 and I pay shipping. The net profit, the money I actually make, is going to be a lot different. And I fear too many people get caught up in the gross sales. Like, oh my gosh, I sold this much on eBay or Amazon or whatnot. But they don't break down their net. And I know a lot of people do it for views, you know, on, on YouTube. And they like to throw all these big numbers out there. I get it. That's what they're doing. But, um, yeah, you there's the net is what matters, not the gross sales. So I let you know that... I'm buying stuff cheap, and with the price I'm getting for it, if I paid shipping myself, or if the buyer did, uh, to give you a good breakdown of what um, the net profit is. I don't break down every item and give you the exact amount, but doing it that way lets you know. Um, and two, for the smaller items, the things that you know sell for $10 or something, letting you know too, okay, hey, I paid a dollar for this, a quarter for this, I made 10. Not I paid five and made 10, because after the fees, you've made like a buck, you know what I mean? So I just do that to try to be transparent and try to teach people, don't focus on the gross sales. Make sure you've got control of your net profits because at the end of the day, that's what counts. And I think we've all heard the stories. Sorry, I'm getting cold sweats again. People who like a million dollars in sales on Amazon, but then they say, well, they made $50,000. That was their net because all of the product costs and all the fees especially people who are just starting and reselling sometimes tend to spend too much money on items. And um, yeah, it just takes a long time to kind of learn how to do things, how to find the sales, how to shop for the deals, how to get things for super cheap so that you can have a much higher profit margin. So that is why I tell you what I paid for things. Lots of get well wishes, thank you so much. Um, and it's going around. Yeah, so I think that wraps up the question q and I did want to mention one more thing. <clears throat> for those of you who have a blog, a website, and you're looking for more affiliate marketing, Share a Sale is a good one to get into. I will link them below. This is one of my affiliate um, marketing companies I'm signed up with. Um, Share a Sale is kind of like, think of it like a, almost like a wholesale for affiliate marketing, <laughs> wholesale advertiser. They're the company, but then there are lots of retailers that they represent. So what you do with share sales, you sign up with them and then you apply to the merchants who they represent. And they have well over a thousand different um, retailers that they represent in all categories. So of course I'm into the coupons, deals, freebies. Those are the things I look for on their site, but they also have lots of crafter, uh, or crafting suppliers, um, hardware tools, electronics. If you have a niche site or things that you more focus on or things that you're just more interested in, there are tons of different categories. I just got the uh, merchant box from them for this quarter and um, I was able to get this and then they sent me a $50 gift card used for a new retailer that I'm uh, ordered from it so I can try their products. 
So yeah, I will link share a sale below. It's free to join. Again, you join with them and then you have to apply to each individual retailer that you want to. And it can be tricky because some have very strict requirements. I have gotten rejected from a number of programs, even programs that reached out to me and said apply for our program and then I did and they're like declined. So, you know, sometimes they're strictly going on analytics. They're looking at your website traffic and hits and views and all that stuff that doesn't make sense. And if it doesn't meet their specific threshold, they're not going to take you. Others take almost everybody. So it's the kind of place you want to sign up and then you just want to try to apply to as much or as many different um, companies as you can. And what you do then when you are accepted into programs, you're gonna do two things. Number one, you can post the deals that they offer. If they're offering a special sale, promotion, whatnot, you can do a blog post on the deal. Or if you don't wanna do that kind of stuff, um, you can just use their ad units. So they have banners uh, that you can place on your site and they're just advertising banners. And if someone goes to your site and clicks through and makes a purchase, then you earn a commission. So if you just want passive, income from your blog website, um, then you can use them for that. Or like I said, if you want to post specific deals, you can do that as well. I use a combination of both. I have their ad units and then I post a specific dealers, dealers, deals from some of the um, retailers that I signed up with through them. So again, I'll link share sale below and go check that out. And let me know if you'd like me to share more about affiliate marketing for blogs and websites. Um, I do have a lot of other information I could share with you guys if you want to learn how to make passive income uh, through sites you already uh, have running. So let me know. Leave a comment below. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday. And please let me feel well enough <coughs> because there's an estate sale. It's at the uh, storage unit again that one of the companies has that they will um, – sometimes there's not enough – at a house to do a full house estate sale or they need to get the house cleared out because it's sold so they'll take everything to the storage unit and I think that's what this one is the person just for whatever reason didn't want it at their house so they cleaned the house out took everything to a storage unit and the estate sale is there it's half off tomorrow and they also had an online auction last week for an entire collection of precious moments collectibles which is why it was a collection of collectibles and normally precious moments are something I don't pick up because it's mass produced, oversaturated. There are some that are worth money, some that aren't. But what they were doing is they had, an, I think, 147 lots of figurines. And the, rain, the lots ranged from four, or I'm sorry, three pieces, four pieces. Some even had more than that. Most were in the three to four range. And bidding started at a dollar. So a couple days before the auction ended, I went in and I bid a dollar on every lot that wasn't already bid on. Now, in the end, some people outbid me. You know, they went to two. I wasn't going to do that because, again, mass produced. They don't make a ton of money. I wanted cheap as possible. At the end of it, I won 17 lots. So $17. There was a 20% um, buyer's premium on that. So my total was $20 and change for the 17 lots of Precious Moments figurines. Same company that's running the estate sale tomorrow and the pickup is at the warehouse as well. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. I can go and I can pick up the figurines that I bought and I can shop the estate sale. And then what I'll do with the figurines is probably put them in my own lots to resell them. Um, I'll look every one of them up, see if any of them individually are worth money, but I'm assuming they're probably gonna sell better um, if I lot them together. So yeah, um, Caring Transitions is the company that does that. Um, and they have, they're kind of like um, franchises, like a state sale company franchises, and they have locations all over the country. And you can also um, look into being, getting your own franchise. So if you're looking to start your own estate sale company, or um, you just want to shop from them, I will link them below and you can go on their site and you can find if there are any locations um, in your areas that not only do um, physical estate sales, but also um, do the online sales as well. So I'll link them below. You can go check them out. So with that, I'm going to wrap it up. It's time to go like, honestly, and this sounds gross, but I could just take off my clothes and run through the house naked because I just feel like hot and clammy. And then 10 minutes from now, I'll be cold and need a blanket. Will this ever end? Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and check the link 
uh, links below for everything I mentioned uh, in this video. So I will see you again on Tuesday for the next vlog. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.